In this video, I am going to show you how to set up and use OpenCV for Android using Android Studio. Starting with initializing OpenCV. Getting camera feed for OpenCV processing, and finally extracting image features from the camera feed. This video will focus primarily on how to use OpenCV on Android, assuming previous understanding of Android app development basics, and that of OpenCV, if not it would be better to go through basics of both for more clear understanding. Tons of videos can be found on YouTube for both independently, either way this tutorial is easy to follow. Start with downloading OpenCV Android SDK, go to opencv.org from any web browser and then click on release. This will send you to all OpenCV SDKs. I will use the latest version, that is 4.5.5 and then click on Android to get the Android SDK, this will download the required SDK. Afterwards go to Android Studio and create a new project. Configure as per requirements. Now go to the downloaded SDK. Unzip it. Inside it consists two folders, one for samples, which contains few examples of using OpenCV. And another one for SDK, which will be imported into Android Studio. Now go to Open Android Studio Project, go to File, New, Import Module. Here set the source path to the SDK folder previously mentioned. Name the module, and click on Finish. This will import all the required files to use OpenCV on Android. Solve the errors present in build.gradle of imported OpenCV module. Here we can remove the Kotlin Android plugin as we will use Java to code. Also set the proper SDK versions. Click on try again, this will try to import the SDK once again, if no errors persists then the SDK will be properly loaded. Now go to File, Project, Structure, Dependencies. Here select the app and add the module dependency, the OpenCV SDK, as type implementation and click on Apply. Now you can use all OpenCV features inside Android. Now go to Android Manifest to add permissions to be able to access and use Android Camera. Now go to main activity and check whether OpenCV has been loaded properly. Here inside on create, if OpenCV is initialized properly then just output the same as Android log message. Here I have connected the Android with the system and its display can be shown here. Click on Run, this will build the app, 
and at the same time install on the Android phone, then run the same app. You need to have Android debugging enabled for this. Go to Logcat and type OpenCV, this will show only OpenCV related logs. As the app launches on the Android phone, it outputs the previously defined log message, indicating that OpenCV has been successfully initialized. Now edit the Android layout, here replace everything with frame layout which will hold a single child for camera view and cover the whole screen. As mentioned, add a OpenCV Java camera view, covering the whole screen, and set the ID, which will be used to reference the same in code. Also enable the option to show the FPS. Now go to main activity and create a variable to hold camera view. Also extend your main activity to camera activity. Now add a base loader callback, which on successful initialization of OpenCV, will enable camera view. Inside on manager connected, check whether connection is success then enable the camera view. and also in default case run the parent code. Inside on create, first initialize the OpenCV camera view, referencing the OpenCV surface view from layout. Create a CV camera view listener, which will listen to open CV camera view. It has three methods, first on camera view started, which will be executed at the start of camera view. On camera view stopped. And on camera frame, which will be called every time a new camera frame is available. Return the input frame as type RGBA, which will be displayed on screen. Override the on pause method which will disable the camera view when app is paused. An on resume method which will check if OpenCV is initialized, if not initialize it or else pass success to the base loader callback.
Similarly add method to disable camera view when the app is closed. Override the method to get all camera views for OpenCV camera view. And set the visibility in view listener for OpenCV camera view, passing the previously created CV camera view listener. Now run the app. Here in screen you can see the camera feed accessed by OpenCV. Now go to on camera frame method, get the RGBA and grayscale open CV image matrix from the input camera frame. Create a new map of points which will hold all the corner information. Now extract the image features using good features to track method from OpenCV Improc. Here first pass the gray scale image as input from where the image features will be extracted, the map of points for corners, the number of max corners, the minimal quality level to be accepted by the detector, the minimum possible distance between two markers, mask if any, the block size and whether to use Harris corner detector. Now create a point array and convert the map of points corner data into point array. For all corners, draw a circle at that point in the frame. Use improc.circle for this, pass the input RGBA frame where the circles will be drawn on, then the point where to draw the circle, the radius of circle, the color, which in this case is just green, and the thickness of circle. Now run the app. Here in screen you see the image features being detected and marked on screen as green circles. <laughs>